I just might be in your hood. Fuck out of here, man. You dumbass niggas. You niggas are silly out here trying to look cute and shit, man. I just might be in your hood. Niggas wanna come and talk to me about all this dumb shit, nigga. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Little fella checking in, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. I, uh, been busy this week, so I haven't been on here. I've, uh, been trying to get that money. And, uh, I had a hell of a week. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, let me see here. I'm trying to get some damn feel. And pretty much, I had a hell of a day. Friday, man, I'm coming up like that. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep putting this down, thing in. You know, ignorant. Damn it. <laughs> and um, I must have put the wrong thing in. Hold on. Okay, I had to do it again, and I seen what I did wrong. I uh, put in the driver wrong, the driver number wrong. Still trying to get used to this stuff, so forgive me if I uh, do the shit wrong. Let me put this glove on. So, anyways. Friday, I picked up a low. I'm gonna talk specifically about Friday because Thursday, well, not Friday, but um, talk about Thursday because um, it got messed up. It was because of damn what happened Wednesday. I hate when it does that. Pump, stay there and pump. <laughs> I'm on an eighth of tank and over here playing with me. And uh, because of. I got held up in Texas Wednesday because I got there noon and they're gonna to complain to me, the, the receiver, about why do I got um, shorter um, pieces of uh, product than originally they ordered. I said, well, all I do is take, up, take the pickup number and give it to the forklift driver and um, that's what the fuck he put on my damn trailer. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't load my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, I'm over here looking at this tarp because I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I screwed up on this load, tarping it, and I made some boo boos. Not boo boo. I made some boo boos. But uh, I'm gonna show you how serious I am when I want to look at this shit. But anyways, um, so I ended up missing my reload Wednesday, sat there overnight, and uh, funny enough, I had to go back to DART. And the reason why I had to go back to DART was because I had to turn in their equipment. When you stop, when you're done with DART, um, they want you to turn in that people net shit uh, and all the wires and cords so they can... Uh, taking off your balance whatever your final balance is wherever that might may or may not be i ain't on them shit they still got my 700 dollars escrow um i did fill up and i did get my truck worked on by them but you know at that time i didn't know that they was gonna let me go so you know they kind of cut that on themselves i had nothing to do with that one right there but anyways i'm only gonna get about 110 120 gallons I know how to buy fuel around here. Keep this shit stretching. Get to a cheaper fuel stop. But um, I got there. I turned in the, the people net, the wires, uh, the permit book, the license plate, the, the I-pass. And uh, I got OCD like a motherfucker. I want to make sure that shit says <laughs> what I want to put in there. And uh, I went and turned it in. And finna leave. And then my old dispatcher, she calls me 
and says, um, you, they need to take the brain of the people net out of your truck. They didn't take that out. I said, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what you want me to do about it. She's like, well, can you come back? I said, well, yeah, I mean, I'm right down the street. You know, it's a one way street. I gotta do, you know, three, three or four left turns to come back around. Yeah, sure, no problem. And if, although that sounds simple, I had to get on I-20 and I-35 and loop back around to do all that shit just to get back over there. So yeah, went back over there and took the brain of the uh, unit out. Let me know everything was done. So once I did that, um, I got my reload, which is down in Texas. Ugh, climb up on this motherfucker. Well, it's down in Texas and um, I got this load right here that needed to be tarped, just like some cement flooring or whatever. And I was in such a rush that I didn't protect these edges on down the load. And in Texas, it was super windy. So, turn the camera on me. So what happened was it ripped holes in the two corners in the back and then closer up here on the, on the, on the driver's side. And I'm gonna show y'all that. Um, when I got back to the terminal, which was another part of a long story, pretty much this load had to run 900 miles in under 12 hours. Can't be done. So long story short, <laughs> I made as far as I could, which is Alabama from Texas to Georgia. Stopped at a rest area, took a nap, got phone calls all seven o'clock in the morning. Didn't respond back to him until about 9.30, which I probably had about four hours of nap by then. Pretty much telling me I wasn't going to make it, end up on a trying, it's Friday, you missed your reload, don't worry about it, um, it's the dispatcher's fault, she should have known better, so on and so forth, and uh, just come 200 miles out of the way back up here to the terminal, we got a safety meeting this weekend, and I'll pay you for it. So whatever rate you're getting on this load, I'll pay you that times 200 miles, plus wherever it is from here to your first stop and so on. So I said, cool. Drove up there, got to the terminal, did all the little safety meeting stuff. Did learn a few things. I'll just talk about that in a different video. But pretty much, um, it was raining all weekend and I had to find little in mini intervals to take this tarp off so the load don't get wet to fix the tarp and that shit was funny. Um, I wish I had a body cam to show you what the fuck I had to do to get this shit off and do this and then put it back on. Maybe next time it happens, hopefully it ain't gonna be too soon. But what I'm about to do is climb on top of this fucking load and do a walk around. If you think I don't climb on top of shit, I don't get to tell how big I am. I'm getting the fuck up here. So, let me uh, put this phone out for a second. <laughs> I took a lot of energy, but I'm good though. So yeah, I'm on top of the fucking load. And what I'm looking for is for rips. That's kind of a long step. I don't know where it starts or where it stops, but I don't care. Up and down the corners. I know some of these edges is like really cutting it close. I got to kind of do baby steps because I can't see where the gaps are. They loaded the middle of the damn trailer with one pallet instead of two. So I gotta kinda take a soft step to make sure I don't take a deep step, you feel me? <laughs> but here we go. If y'all was wondering why I got this damn light on, my head. If y'all can see at night, see that? This was one of the rips that I had and I fixed. These sharp ass corners fucked my brand new tarp up. Was it this soft before? Huh, maybe that's a strap. This one's a little bit worse. Long ass line. I fixed that. I don't see any other rips. Yeah, I do a soft step.
bear with me people if i fall and slip you'll catch it live on camera so take these soft steps see it's soft right there <laughs> boy if i step through this i put a whole nother fucking rip in this start and here's the last one right here this is the smallest one but i patched that too so let me show you how i patched it oh shit let me turn my damn light off these things are useless buy one these things move up and down like that pretty good if you're doing a video at night but um pretty much um how i had to patch it and i am standing on top of my load is i had to cut up some old tarp which we had at the yard man i look slim like this i'm losing weight i cut up some extra tarp <laughs> some old tarp <laughs> and um got some vinyl cement glue flat betters know about this or if you don't you should Climb all the way down this motherfucker. Don't uh. look at my titty. Open my side box. And here's the vinyl cement right here. This stuff right here is some good stuff. I don't know if it's showing it backwards or not. If so, don't get alarmed. It's not satanic. And then here's the extra tarp that I cut up right here. So basically, it's like, it's like recovering a, a tire patch or a bike tire. You take the tube off, you take the patch, you clean it with alcohol, make sure it's clean of dirt, let it dry, cut the patch to as much as you need, apply the, uh, the glue, and then let it kind of get semi dry, like halfway dry, but not all the way. Before you put it on there, rub it in, and then hold it, put some pressure on it until it dries completely. Then, um, that's it. So, that's what I've pretty much been doing <laughs> this past weekend. I don't know if I can sit my phone and stay there like that. Other than that, that's kind of a quick update. Not sure how quick it was uh, once I go through this video, but... I'm trying to uh, jet pack some info in real fast, but I will expand on stuff like this. I said in this video in a different video, but just not leave y'all hanging. I'm out here. We still working. We still good. I got to deliver this load in the morning. I might get cussed out. Might not. I don't think they care, but as long as they get it and get the shot from my trailer, I can get it moving, get my next load. Keep spinning. Just keep spinning like wheels, man. Keep spinning like wheels. So little fella, I'll catch y'all next time. Any uh, questions, comments, leave them below. You know I'll get back to you. I'm good for it. And uh, I'm going to get back on this road. But first, I got to go inside, use the restroom. Outro.